Something. Life traffic. Some days is. It just really depends on the time. Like five o'clock is really bad for a lot of traffic, and I want to say like eight or nine, it'd be really bad too. We have moved. I'm so excited to start this new process. This isn't my scrubs, my job scrubs. Um, they had to order me some scrubs. I got them order Monday, so they probably will be here next week, hopefully. But our scrubs color are black, blue, and navy. So I got two pairs of black because, you know, Mother Nature. And then I have a navy pair and then I have a gray pair. I forgot to tell y'all that I got, I got a coffee maker. Um, I got it during Christmas. That was one of my gifts. So I don't be going to Starbucks no more. Can y'all believe it? I don't be going to Starbucks no more. I be making my own coffee. But this is the pies I pick up is um, cookies and caramel. And it's really, really good. It's really, really sweet. I do that with my caramel creamer. And, you know, it gets me over. I don't use a lot of this because it's already sweet. Just use a little bit. Now, coffee, I like to do hot or cold. It just depends on my mood peak in the mornings when I get ready for work. I like to drink warm coffee, hot coffee, because I don't know, I feel like it wakes me up better than iced coffee. But on days when I'm not working, you know, chilling, doing mom things, that's why I like to do um, iced coffee. So yeah, that's just the difference of so when I like to drink my hot coffee and when I like to drink my iced coffee. I could do either or. Um, but like I said, on a work basis, I like hot coffee because I feel like it just wakes up everything that's my organs and everything. I, I just feel like it wakes me up. Week of the week, um, I've been working since Monday. So Monday through Friday, I work this week, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. The upcoming Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, 
I am off. I'm so glad. And I didn't think that I'll be off for three days. I was thinking maybe two. But no, I'm off three days. I'm off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I'm super excited. I'm probably going to take you guys along with me to explore Atlanta because there's so much you know you could do family wise now as a family we did go to the trap museum i have to find the videos but we did go to the trap museum last year when i was trying to um apply for this position <laughs> gave me a whole checklist where I can, you know, see, um, where I can see places to visit, and, you know, different foods I want to experience this weekend. Like, I'm so glad that they gave me my first weekend off so that I could navigate, you know, my roundabouts. So, I'm so happy about that. Overall, Georgia has been the most welcoming experience. I have a job working nine to five, sometimes nine to seven. And Dre has a job as well. He just started yesterday. He works at night. So it's been working out. Only thing we have to worry about going forward is to put Cadence into school because that's something I really want to accomplish because she, you know, she is able to go to pre K. So that's the only thing um, move forward we need to focus on. Um, I'm going to give myself until June, like early June, to go ahead and roll her. So I have a little bit of change, change of um, time to, you know, enroll her. But, yeah, that's the only thing we worry about for right now is to enroll her in school. But other than that, everything has been so good people are friendly my job i just freaking love it here though sometimes i miss my family but i i honestly feel like you have to step out your comfort zone to elevate to the person that you see you as being hey y'all so i'm in the car i'm warming up my car because it's so freezing out here today like and my aunt told me a little weather was gonna be kind of iffy and i can see it already because baby yesterday it was hot today it's freaking cold like it says 45 degrees and it shows like it's so cold um i'm gonna let my car warm up just a little bit and then I'm gonna head to work. I will see you guys at seven.
don't get mad at me, but the girl failed to go to bed. Um, today has been one of those long days. I work 11 hours shift today, and I'm extremely tired. Like, I got off work. I, first of all, I woke up at 8. No, I woke up at 6.30 today. I had to leave the house by 8 so that I could, so I could make it there by 8.30. And then, so your girl been up since 6.30 and I didn't get off to work until 7.30 tonight. So once I got off of work, um, Dre was like, you want to get some more groceries for next week so that way you don't have to worry about it. For the weekend, you could just relax or we could just do what we want to do. So we went to Walmart. All right, we got our groceries, came back home. I ate my food and I just washed off this makeup. You know, it's a little bit on. I don't really care because I'm so tired. Like my legs and body is not used. My legs and body is not used to a nine to five, okay? I never, ever, ever, ever worked a nine to five until I came to Georgia. And then like some days we are extended by two more hours. So some days you see uh, the five or nine to seven. It just depends on the day. And today, Tuesday, Thursdays, they are open nine to seven. So I had to. I've been up since six thirty up to now. So it's like ten something at night. But y'all, yeah, I'm so tired. Um, I'm probably finna read my Bible because yeah, without God, none of this is possible. Let me say that again. Without my God, nothing is possible without him none of this would have been possible because i swear y'all in mississippi i applied to every single job and god kept blocking it and i didn't know why and i didn't understand at the point in time but i would cry like seriously i would cry because i was like why nobody accepted me and i got a whole certification and little did I know that my God had a bigger job, bigger opportunity, bigger blessings than what I thought that I saw for myself. He saw something way bigger, great opportunity than I never thought I could get to, you know. So I appreciate my God for everything he do, everything he done, everything that's in the process right now. But, yeah, I feel spend time with my God, and then I'm going to bed because, like I said, I'm tired, and then I got to get up tomorrow, same time, 6.30, um, but my shift tomorrow is 8 to 4, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, the day will go by fast because it's a Friday, and then I'm off, like I said, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I'm going to use that time to explore um, Atlanta and to just, you know, rest up a little bit. But if I don't catch you guys on tomorrow, I would definitely catch you guys on the weekend when we go explore. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey y'all, so we just came back from the trampoline park. Candace had so much fun. We grabbed us some Chick-fil-A and now we finna call it a night. Probably gonna watch some movies or either play with my Sims. But 
Yeah, I need to find me a, a stethoscope for my job and I need to find some more shoes for my job because the tennis shoes are not yet. I need to find some Crocs. They're some really, really comfortable. So we're gonna get out the next two days um, that I'm off. But yeah, I just wanna say, keep y'all updated on what happened today. Hey y'all, so we went to the store. We went to Dollar Tree just to get some um, tissue and some paper towels, stuff like that, because I'm not washing dishes. Um, but I needed some more shoes for my job and I found this color Mommy, I want to see. and I like where it says Crocs on the side. I think that's so pretty. But I got this color. I got this color and yeah, I think it's so, so cute. All right, so I got this color for my scrubs. Like I said, our scrubs is black, navy, and gray. So I thought this would be a perfect color to go with it. But yeah, we went to Marshalls to grab these. And I saw that they have some kids crops too. And I'll probably go a little bit once I get paid to get paid to some crops too. But I only spent $25 for these Crocs and Marshalls. So, if you wanna go get you some Crocs from the low, go to Marshalls. That's where I got mine from, period. These have the Crocs look up close and personal. I think they're super cute. Very, very comfy. So, yeah, 10 out of 10. So I wanted to give y'all OOTD outfit of the day. I have these red scrubs that I had for school. Um, like I said, my job scrub colors is uh, navy, black, and gray. But they have ordered and they haven't came in yet. So what I've been doing is wearing my old scrubs, which I'm glad I didn't throw away. I, as y'all seen, that I went to Marshalls to get these Crocs. They are super comfortable. I'm so glad um, I got them. So I got that. And it be freezing cold, y'all, in the building. So I be having on a jacket. And my trainer gave me a um, lab jacket. Which is so crazy because y'all know when I had graduated from bottom me school, everybody had on a lab jacket except me. So that's crazy how now I got a lab jacket. But yeah, it's crazy how things change and, you know, things for the better. But yeah, this is outfit of the day. I have my red scrubs, my cross because my feet be killing me. And my jacket because I be really, really cold. Lastly, I have my Apple Watch. Um, this is a Series 3. This watch is very, very old, but it still get the job done. Now, y'all might say that the time is wrong, but it's really not. It's on military time because when we draw blood, we have to put the military time. time when you start the draw, we put the military time. And then when you end the draw, we put the military time. So I had changed my settings on the watch on the app to military time because yeah i think it's very very convenient um that my watch is on military time um but like i said this is outfit of the day super super simple super cute um mostly time i wear socks with this um because like i said it's be really really cold in that building and that building had to stay um a certain temp throughout the day so yeah that's my outfit of the day you guys yeah also my teacher gave everybody this and i finally put it on a lab coat because like i said um previously when we graduated everybody had on lab coats except me um but it's crazy how i got a lab coat now and I could finally put my pen up there. I have um, my job badge as well, but I don't like wearing it because I don't have like a specific, um, 
you know the badge cute little badge hangers and i thought my mom knew how to make them but she don't so i'm gonna have to either order from etsy to give me a badge a cute badge holder or um order from amazon but this gonna have to do for right now until i get my cute little you know accessory badge to put on my jacket but it is what it is Honestly, how can i forget my freaking goggles um they gave that to me i want to say the third day i started but you also want you know protect your eyes because when you stick people like blood sometimes people blood splatters and you just want to protect yourself you don't want to get in your eyes or anything so i put this on good morning so today is the 12 it's 7 20. i had to be at work at 8 30 today but hey this is another week i keep forgetting to vlog for you guys but this is a whole nother week um hopefully i can start sticking today which is exciting um but i get off at four today so i will give you guys the rundown once i get off but i just want to say hey because i keep forgetting to vlog and it's like girl what you doing hey y'all so it is 444 i just got off of work um my shift today like i said was eight to four and i have been sticking folks today like i stuck um like eight people so far so that's good and the flow comes out so i'm super super proud of myself that you know, even though I have graduated uh, last year that I still remember all the steps, the proper steps, and I still, you know, a good phlebotomist. That's, that's my goal, to be the good phlebotomist and to achieve to, you know, to a higher level. But yeah, I had stuck eight people today and I'm so proud of myself. Now, tomorrow I am off, so I probably will um go to the store because i need a skeptoscope and that's about it i hope you guys enjoying this vlog so far and i will catch you guys up later when i'm actually doing something mm -hmm. you go on the slide Put on, so you can here. 
Oh yeah. Get here real good. All right, you guys. So tomorrow makes week three since I started my phlebotomy career. And so far, things have been so well for me. Um, like I said, I have stuck like 10 people so far and I continue to go by day by day and just take my time and be the best phlebotomist that I'm trying to be. Now, tomorrow I do work, um, but I am off Friday. So I'm probably gonna end this vlog right here. As I previously stated that I am extremely thankful for this opportunity because I'm just a Mississippian. Like I was born and raised in Jackson, Mississippi and for me to just get up and move and take this opportunity, like I'm so grateful and so thankful. Y'all just don't understand. I've been on the poet ever since October of last year because September I graduated. I got my certification and after my daughter's birthday i was unemployed ever since so for me to just step out with a leaf of faith i'm super super proud of myself and just thankful and honored to be in this position that i am today but i'm not gonna talk to y'all guys heads off i will see you guys on the next vlog